Let's start with the framework of our level cracker. The framework is always a meaningful start in a project like this, so it should be a good start here. The plans for the cracker comes free, just by following the link in the video description. Don't worry, the main language of the page is French, of course it can be translated in the main menu, but the plans are English. And English is a good keyword here because I love this site as my preferred source, not only because it has tons of free plans available for download, but also the plans are in metric, which is very rare in live steam engineering, but the imperial guys will also find a lot of free plans here. The Cracker is a very easy and forgiving project for beginners. It's straightforward and all parts are manageable and you don't have to invest too much time getting to the first results. Only a small amount of material makes the project very cheap. The Cracker's technology is designed in such a way that no special knowledge or skills are required to create complex components. Components like control valves, steam, gas or safety valves can be purchased from special live steam companies by little budget. A link to the website of my favorite live steam company is also included in the video description. I will change the design a little, especially on the steam supply system, but more on that later. You may notice that the first change is visible on the frame plates, but that change has no functional or mechanical reason. It's just a question of personal taste. I did the change somewhere in the middle of the project. So the old frame parts you see me making here are not in the ending results. But maybe nice to see how a more advanced shape is done by filing. Corresponding holes for the axles should match perfect. After the first drilling I add some screws and nuts to combine the parts while drilling the axle holes and the holes for the drive gears. The cracker is driven by gears and to fit the gears perfect I had to make sure that the drill holes are on spot. Filing is a matter of patience. Never expect a perfect result without taking your time. I get a lot of questions on that and we'll discover that more detail in coming episodes. I also didn't learn that professionally in some kind of training. It was rather necessary for me as I didn't have a milling machine at first. And so no milling machine is used in this project. I've known filing well enough to not like it. But literally I fell in love with this work when I learned what can be achieved with it. Now it's time to drill the holes for the axles and the filed edges gives me a good reference for the drill press. After drilling, reaming, and deburring, it's time to clean up the parts. 
Here are the front and the rear buffers. In the plants they are made from one solid part, but I had some leftover parts in my workshop that I have soldered together and they fit perfect. And here it is all set together. In the next part we will take a closer look to the foot plate and the boiler mountings. I hope you liked the video, leave a subscribe and I will see you in the next part.